Hey guys, I just thought I would do a quick get ready with me and just to do a little bit of a chit chat with you guys. How's everybody doing today? Um, this is the way I'm choosing to do my day. I'm just in the house like everybody else. Um, this quarantine situation that we have ourselves in. Um, I must say that it's, um, <laughs> it's not really that difficult for me, um, I guess because, you know, I'm pretty much a homebody anyway, and I don't mind staying home to a point, but I don't like staying home to this degree where, you know, we have to be physical distance. Uh, that's the part that's not comfortable because you know you want to get together with your family members you know go over your family members house and visit one another and they don't want us to do that so we can't do it you know so i don't know how are you guys adjusting to all the situation i think i'm adjusting to it uh, pretty good. Um, I'm just keeping the faith, you guys. I am praying daily for the situation for all of us, all the first responders, all of the healthcare workers, of course, the president. I mean, just our government, our vice president, um, everyone, all of our, our leaders of our country, our state and city. Um, just everybody all everyone as well as the people who have lost their lives you know i pray for the families my heart goes out to all of them and if you, any of you have lost any loved ones you know my condolences go to you too so you know just trying to keep positive um i'm a firm believer of god's word so i um that's what I go on. I believe that this too shall pass. We're going to get through this. I know we will. I believe we will. So, I just try to be strong. Um, it's pretty much all we can do is be strong, keep the faith. But I just wanted to put on some, you know, a little bit of my face here. Um... I'm not going anywhere, so I don't know why <laughs> why I want to put some on. But just to have my face looking a little more colorful, presentable. Because, you know, I am married, so can't afford to be looking like a drag queen or some little crazy something. But, you know, I just put on a little color here. Um... Nothing super duper. I don't, ouch. Hurt my arm. If you hear any music in the background, that's Aaron playing his um, his instrument. He got a um, uh, saxophone from his music teacher. Because, uh, you know, all the kids are doing their schoolwork online. And with him being in band, he has to... Uh, there are assignments that he has to do using his instrument. I don't know how he can do that, but leave it up to the teenagers. They know exactly how to do and what to do. But they do it online. I think he has to record himself. I don't know if it's audible or both video um, playing, you know, the instrument. And then he has to submit it to his music teacher for a grade. So, I think that's pretty neat, you know. Shoot, back in the day when I was in school, honey, there was no internet. There was no such thing as that. Um, I tell you, the kids these days, they got it made. Technology has really expanded. And um, it's really become big and very popular. But, um, yeah, so he's taking a break from that right now. I'll probably insert a little clip of you of him uh, playing his instrument so you guys can hear just a little bit of it. Um, 
It's a nice, big, long saxophone. I don't know which one it is, but it's the one that goes way down here. And he can tell you the name of that, but... Because I don't remember. I can't say this situation is comfortable, even though I'm considered a homebody and I like to be home the majority of the time. But sometimes, you know, I like to get out too, but not as much as Aaron does. I mean, you know, teenagers, they want to get out all the time. And speaking of him, you know, he wants to get out a little bit more. I don't blame him to a point, but, you know, if we get out, we're just going to get in the car and go for a drive. That is the extent of what we're going to do. We're not doing any more than that. And I told him, you know, because we're not supposed to. And it just seems like I have to keep fighting with him. Um, The times that we have gone to the grocery store to put on his mask and gloves. And I had to just put the bomb down. I said, look, if you want to go to the store, if you want to go in the store, then you must put the glove on, gloves, I should say, both gloves and put your mask on even though for us believers we stand on Psalm 91 and we're supposed to but we're also supposed to obey the laws of the land if they tell us that they want us to wear masks wear gloves and we're supposed to be obedient and do it it's for our protection for our safety I'm not really hard putting any mascara on because I'm running low on it, but I just wanted to um, just do my eye, do my eyelashes up just a wee bit. Oh, but I don't know if I told you how I'm um, getting back to Aaron with the practice of his instrument. Uh, his teacher had emailed him last night and told him that he can come on to the school at a certain time. She'll be standing outside with her mask and her gloves on. And um, so that's what happened. My my husband took him um, to school, you know, to get the thing. And yes, he had his mask and his glove on. One glove, because he was just touching the instrument case with one hand. So that's all he needed. And then came on back home. And I have eaten my first meal of the day, which was uh, a nice salad. And I had um, all the delicious things in there. I had tomatoes, I had cucumber, a little bit of onion, some baby spinach with some regular uh, lettuce. And it tastes good. And also I had a little bit of beans, about a half a cup of beans. And that was an hour ago, like maybe about one o'clock in the afternoon. Can you believe that? And no, I didn't eat breakfast. A lot of times I do eat breakfast. I know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day and I do eat it, but being home in quarantine like this, um, I'm trying not to eat too much because I I just, I, I mean, I would not be surprised if I have put on a few pounds already. I really hope not but I'm not going to be surprised if I have. I'm trying not to eat too much. Um, I would be lying to you if I said I didn't put any food in me that I should not have snacked on. Uh, I have, but I'm not making it, um, I'm not making it a habit again. But I am, I am exercising though in the house. Um, I know we can go to the parks and things, but I'm just not comfortable to do that. I, I don't know. I, You know, when they say distance yourself from people, there are people that sometimes walk during, you know, at the park. And um, I don't know, I just don't, I don't want to be around anybody. And I don't want to have to cover up my face because I got to breathe, you know. (laughs) It's not easy to try to breathe through a mask. It was so sad when I got on YouTube the other day, I happened to see a video that said, the title was, Um, I'm not feeling so well. One of my YouTubers, uh, I'm not going to call out her name, but she unfortunately has the virus. And I was like, oh my gosh. You know, I clicked on the video to look at it for about maybe a couple of minutes. But, and I really felt for her. Um, My heart goes out to her. And I, you know, I pray for her that she will recover and, you know, be well. 
Um, but I didn't want to look at the whole video. Because you know what? I'm trying not to focus on, you know, the symptoms that they tell you um, when we were constantly hearing about people getting sick, dying, this and that and that. Yeah, I'm compassionate about it. And I am praying for everyone who is affected, who becomes affected, who's in the hospital, blah, 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 blah. You know, sometimes I cry, you know, when I hear it because it, it's touching. And, um, but I, I just don't want to keep hearing it all day, you know, all day long. Every time the news comes on, you hear it during the morning. Then you hear it during the afternoon. You hear it during the night. No, I don't listen to it like that. I listen to it, you know, as far as the updates in the morning. Um, if there's any new developments or anything you know, like new rules that they, recommendations they want us to do. You know, I listen to those types of things, but I don't want to keep hearing about the death toll and all that. Mm -mm. Um, you know, you could feel anxiety over the situation. How many of you guys are experiencing anxiety? Sometimes I do. I must say, I'll be honest, but then I have to catch myself. I said, okay, you're human. Yes, you are, but you get it together Liz because you're a believer and you can't afford to allow yourself to go there you know there's things that I know to do to combat that so I just try to just do you know what I have to do but anyway let me just give you guys a few scriptures only if you're interested for those who are these are the scriptures that I confess every day and that I read you know, and it, it helps to keep me strong. That I go by is Isaiah 53, verses 4 and 5. That's Isaiah 53, verses 4 and 5. Psalms 103, verse 2 and 3. I'm not going to read them. You guys can do that on your own. Um, I know this one by heart. 1 Peter 5, 7 which is casting all your cares upon him for he cares for you when you have worry and concern like this situation you know we have to cast throw our cares onto the heavenly father so he cares for us um psalms 46 and that's a good one i like to read that every day several times a day at that um Isaiah 41 10 that's Isaiah 41 verse 10 which talks about fear and with this situation going on there's a lot of fear in the world it really is and I just make certain confessions as for me and my family we shall live and not die in the name of Jesus this too shall pass and I just thank God for healing our nation and for healing all nations in the midst of the storm, we have the victory. And then there's a long confession of um, paragraphs that I confess. Um, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna read them, but um, it's like two pages, two small pages. Let's see if you guys can see that. So I confess that every single day. Here's Aaron playing his instrument for you guys. <laughs> something else. Well
Okay, for dinner tonight, I'm having some salad, which is uh, lettuce and tomato, and some vegetable soup that has, uh, I think it has a little bit of zucchini, carrots, string beans, a uh, little bit of um, crackers crumbled up in there. We're all eating different things tonight, and I'm in my office because I'm editing a video. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you were inspired. I hope that you were encouraged today by some of the things that I talked about. We all have to encourage and strengthen each other through this difficult time because we will get through it. So anyway, you guys stay safe. Uh, continue to be healthy. Be blessed and stay home. Talk to you later. Bye bye.